school. We're excited to have you back for another day. Let's get our morning started. I am who I am. Because of who you are. Since it is the last couple days of October, which means it is the last couple days of Hispanic Heritage Month, please take 30 seconds to talk to two people right next to you. Say buenos dias and ask them como esta. Ready? Go. Girls, let's go line up outside the mat. Is that horrible? My name is Nazo Berge and I'm the principal of Center City Petworth. Our vision for our students here is that they will leave our school being lifelong learners, global citizens, advocates for change, and community leaders. The thing about an active reading, and you'll get these throughout the course of the year, is that you pay attention to exactly what the text is telling you to do. Because what the text is going to do is it's going to hone in on certain skills. And so if you just read it and do the comprehension questions, then you're missing other important factors that you should be taking care of within the text that are going to sharpen your skills. Okay? So today we're looking at, we're going to be marking up the text. So that's another name for annotation. We're going to be making some inferences. We're going to have some um, parts where we stop and we do reflection. And we're going to have some analysis pieces. We started mine up here to show you. So A is a more interesting drawing, but B is a better MOLA design because it's simple. If I were making this into a MOLA, I'd have to cut out a ton of tiny little circles. It would take a lot of time. It'd be really complicated. The molas we've been looking at are very, very simple. The Kuna people know that they have to hand stitch every single line that they see. And so they make their designs real simple so that they are easier to make. All right, you may quietly get working. I'll be checking your progress as the class goes on. No. My name is Emily Feltmos. I teach middle school math, and so that's 6th, 7th, and 8th grade. So this is my first year as a teacher here and in general. I think this school is unique because it's so small and we really are a family. We all support each other because we all know each other. I know grandparents, parents, kids, their little sisters, their cousins. And so it's not weird to have different family members coming in and out of my classroom all day long for various reasons. Um, so we really are like a family here. Seventh grade, when you enter the room, your homework has not changed because we did not get to it yesterday. I need you to enter the room quietly. I will give you three minutes to turn in any assignments, sharpen pencils, and get ready for your do nails, ladies. I do think this is a high quality school because our teachers prepare us for our future. My name is Kate Asonia. My half two children attend in this school, um, seventh grade and fifth grade. I feel this is a high quality school because I understand that the teachers here, they are all qualified and I understand that time to time, they go for trainings to upgrade their qualification that will help um, them to teach the children. Hey, next one. 